Hey guys, James again, back with another video. So, on my Shock of God video, I got a few questions regarding the software I was using. So, I've decided to put a mini tutorial video together. The screen recording program I was using is called Minicam. It's free, totally awesome, and you can download it from Minicam.com. Just in case you're wondering, the screen recording program I'm using to record the screen recording program is called Free Screen to Video, and I'll also leave a link to that down in the description box. Um, atop, across the top you have effects and you've got sources. Uh, the sources tab you can switch between uh, your webcam and desktop and you can also make it play videos and uh, still pictures as well. And the effects tab has got all sorts of interesting fun options which um, you know, really are good fun to mess around with. Um, so first off you've got backgrounds, uh, this allows you to do a pseudo green screen type effect thing um, but it doesn't always seem to work very well, it seems to be very temperamental depending on your lighting conditions. So I'll just try this waterfall one. So first off you have to move out the way of the camera and you have to take a snapshot. Once that's appeared, you press accept, and as I said, it's very temperamental, but there you go, and I should be able to move across it, but yeah, as I said, that is extremely temperamental. Uh, next down, you've got effects. Um, I've seen quite a few people use this in uh, their videos. Uh, you can make yourself look like a cartoon, or change it to black and white, uh, night vision. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the options here. Um, you can experiment with that by yourself. Um, there's also next one down is dynamic, and you've got fire, snow. Um, even make yourself look like a matrixy thing. Um, you got different lens effects. Um, line effects there. Next down, face accessories. Uh, this is really quite impressive when it when it works well. Uh, my laptop is a bit slow, especially when I'm recording at the same time. Uh, let's see. So I can put a V for Vendetta mask over myself, and this is the thing which makes this so impressive is the way it tracks your head movement. You can also overlay text on top of the video, uh, add the time and date, and uh, you can draw on the top of your video as well. So next up, I'm going to go over to the Sources tab. Um, uh, this is what people will be interested in if they're wondering how I made the Shock of God video. So on the right, you can change your contrast and your colour and all of those effects. And you, as well as recording from your webcam, you can also play movies over the top. Um, there's a still image, which you should recognise from the beginning of my video. Um, and then you have desktop. Now this is what I use for recording the Shock of God video. Now you can either record the full desktop like this, um, or you can do a partial desktop. And this is what I used when I was making the other video. And I used this simply for matters of screen resolution. I wanted to be able to zoom in uh, close enough to, uh, for you to be able to read the text. Finally you've got custom desktop and this you can place anywhere on the desktop and also resize. So if you want to incorporate this into if you want to incorporate this into um, your move into your YouTube videos uh, I'll just Open up that file again.
Uh, so if you want to incorporate this into YouTube videos, choose the effect you want. Um, I've just gone for uh, the background picture which I used at the beginning. Then go into Movie Maker or whatever other pro whatever program you're using to record with. Capture from video device. And what you'll see, which is quite clever here, is the computer recognizes what many cam is um, recording as a separate video as a separate webcam. So instead of clicking on your normal USB video device, just simply select many cam video source instead. So that's it for me my tutorial. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.